Early this summer on Mondays, I'm considering a little bit with you God's attitude toward money. Today I'd like to consider with you not only that everything comes from God, but that we ought to use everything for God. Jesus' parable of the talents is a good example of that. You remember it from Matthew chapter 25. There was a man who went on a journey. The man represented Jesus. He gave to his servants talents of money. And those talents weren't abilities like we think of as talents. They were a weight of money. If they were in gold, those talents were worth a lot of money. Each talent, three million dollars. So you recall, the man gave to one servant five talents, fifteen million dollars, to another two talents, six million dollars, to another one talent, three million dollars, and went on his journey. He meant for the servants to invest those talents. The first two did. The first one went from 15 million to 30 million, the second from 6 million to 12 million, but the final one buried his money. He failed to trust and to invest. And you recall, Jesus was not pleased. That tells us about our money too. It all comes from God. We're looking to use all of it for God. And at first you might say, that's impossible. We can't put all our money in the offering plate. True. But we do spend all our money for God. We spend money on a house for God. And that means it won't be maybe a palace, and on the other hand, it'll be a, a serviceable home. We spend money on a vehicle for God. And of course that means it's probably not going to be real fancy, but it's probably going to be serviceable at least. We spend money on food for God. Again, that means that we'll make sure we have plenty of food, but it might not be the most expensive variety. We're even able to spend some on our entertainment and eating out, but certainly not more than we give directly <laughs> to God in our offerings. You see the message is clear, right? Everything comes from God. God is looking for us to use everything for Him. And that's especially true because Jesus did everything for us and spent everything for us. You recall it wasn't gold or silver, but his holy precious blood and his innocent suffering and death. Have a great day using your everything, God's everything, to serve the Lord. In Jesus' name.